There once was a woman so good and so kind, a happier person you just couldn't find. But her eyesight was poor, and it kept getting worse. Still to her each day was a blessing and never a curse. This special person whose memory we adore was our great-grandmother, our Belmore. She inspired her grandson to help those with poor vision, and soon it became his lifelong mission. The importance of Moore Institute here at Springfield and for Project Keystone are many. Having an institution like Moore Institute connected to it as collaborative partners, it makes a difference in our whole community because we can give that type of care you can find in a university hospital. They really focus on high technology and excellent treatment. And to me, that's what patients really want. As a team, we've probably manufactured, designed, or fabricated more low vision devices than any other facility in the country. We are providing the best care in the world. I don't think there's any doubt that in a short period of time, and it's 15 years, but in a short period of time, we are second to none. They're on the cutting edge of, of 21st century medicine, both technologically and administratively, but they're really looking out for what's best for the patient. This is really medical care for the 21st century. So many patients have more than one disease. Many people have, um, have, may have cataracts and glaucoma and macular degeneration. And one general ophthalmologist really can't, doesn't have the expertise to manage all these diseases. We have doctors that can, and we work right across the hall from one another. So you don't have to send patients uh, to different offices for multiple visits. We're right here and can talk to one another the same day. I am fortunate to be able to work with a terrific group of surgeons from the best institutes in the world, including Harvard, Yale, Moorfields Eye Hospital, and Bascom Palmer. We have a great group of doctors that work together to cover all aspects of ophthalmic surgery. Education has always been an important part of my career. One of the things I love most about Moray Institute is its dedication to educating future doctors. We are more of a holistic approach in that our team approach gets involved the education not only of the patient but of the family practitioner or primary care physician that has sent you or referred you to our office. The Morai Institute and the Morai Foundation believe strongly that the patient is paramount. The patient's needs, the patient's care is the most critical piece of our Job. We are unique in the fact that we're kind of like a one-stop shop. You come in as an emergency. If you have an issue and diagnostic testing needs to be performed right there, we do it there on the spot. So I try to explain to the patients our visits are minimally about two hours. Finding a doctor that one listens to you, relates to you, um, even if he hasn't had experienced, you know, what you've experienced, understands both biologically, physically what's happening to you, and as, as human understanding what's going on with you, it's, it's, it's priceless. They gave me back my life, not yeah. once but twice. Dr. Ginsburg thought I had giant cell arteritis. The different doctors said, oh, they didn't think so, and he kept saying, do it, do it, do it, and they finally did the test. Had Dr. Ginsburg not discovered this, I would have gone blind or had a stroke. I think it's important for the patient to realize that you never give up on things, that the more you work and the more you're willing to find ways of solving your problem, there generally is an answer to many of your problems, and I think that we can provide that answer. I often tell people that without all the doctors here in this office, I would have no sight in my right eye. I didn't uh, know it was possible uh, to uh, have such things uh, done to uh, give you improvement uh, because you, you get the feeling that uh, you, you, you're getting lost somewhere and they're finding you. We have the opportunity to change people's lives, to change the outcome for individuals. What would you do to prevent one person from going blind? What is sight worth? It's priceless, absolutely priceless. So thank you to Dr. Ginsburg and the great staff of uh, Moore. And more and more of us are, are wondering what the future of medicine looks like. We can look to something really a throwback to the past. Someone who really puts patients first and cares about them before anything else. Our great grandmother is missed, but her spirit lives on 
and the more I institute and the celebration. On behalf of my family, we thank each of you for joining us here to see dreams can come true. This is my pledge. Using this unique environment of the more I, we as a team, with you, your family doctors, your subspecialists, hospitals, the best diagnostic equipment, and a caring heart, we are gonna do what it takes to preserve your vision. We are gonna do whatever it takes to help you.